Years ago, the residents of Santa Teresa launched legal action against the NT government over poor housing conditions and delayed repairs. They won their case in the NT Civil and Administrative Tribunal in 2019, but their lawyers have now successfully appealed aspects of their win in the Supreme Court. You know, this has been a long fight, but it's it's far from over, and we're committed to working with our, with our clients and other remote communities where we can to try and improve their housing conditions. In the appeal, the court ordered one local woman be compensated $10,000 instead of the original $100 for having no back door on her house for six years. Lawyers for the group also argued the standard for a house being habitable should be set higher, which Justice Jenny Blockland agreed with, stating, the assessment of whether the premises were habitable should have included not only the health and safety of tenants, but an overall assessment of the humaneness, suitability and reasonable comfort of the premises. As for what reasonable comfort and humaneness looks like in remote housing, that needs to be worked out. But we know that it doesn't look like the current scenario in remote communities where there is massive amounts of overcrowding, uh, there is a failure to carry out repairs and people are living in pretty horrendous conditions. So we say that this decision puts the Northern Territory Government on notice. This new definition of habitable will now go back to the Tribunal for consideration, but could mean further compensation to residents. The government says conditions in Santa Teresa and other communities have improved since the case began. Of course there's always work to be done and certainly as the remote housing minister I'm very excited at that opportunity to uh, continue to grow on the work that uh, we have done last term. Two other aspects of the group's appeal were unsuccessful. Katrina Bevan, ABC News, Alice Springs.